Welcome back to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at not only the Dungeon Master screen a little bit, but we're going to take a look at an, a supplement in WG6 to the Dungeon Master screen. This is Isle of the Eight by Gary Gygax. This is my much battered copy of the Dungeon Master screen from about 1980. I love this old guy. All the pop stains and beer stains on it from over the years. But the part I want to look at is the attack matrix for monsters. So here we have the monsters, and they start at up to 1 minus 1 dice, and going all the way to 16 plus. But it, the table tops out at 16 dice. So to use the extreme example, if I have a 16 dice creature, and it wants to hit armor class negative 10, then it needs to roll a 17. And pluses add to that and everything else. And that's all well and good. But if I have a 25th level creature, it still just needs a 17, no matter what. 16 plus, that's where the, the matrix stops. And that's where this guy comes in. WG6, Isle of the Ape. Very good module, by the way. A nice, nice homage to the original King Kong from 1933. And I've always loved one of these. Uh, I'm a big Kaiju fan, as you probably know by now if you follow the channel for any length of time. My sons are both massive Godzilla fans. I am a big Godzilla fan also. But, hey, gotta love Kong. Kong was the first one I remember seeing. So we take a look inside this excellent module. And by the way, I took a look at this module a few years ago on the channel in detail. But I didn't dwell on this a lot. We get in the back of this module, kind of unexpectedly, we get a supplemental attack matrix for monsters. So now my armor class of negative 10, I needed a 17 for my 16 hit dice creature. My 25th hit dice creature now only needs a 12. And if he's 26 or more, he only needs an 11, and then the chart is just tremendous. So my to-hit armor class 0 is a, a 1 at 26 and up. By the way, a 1 at our table, an actual 1 on the dice, always misses no matter what your bonus is, no matter what the situation you miss. If the opponent's tied up completely helpless at your feet, waiting for you to just go ahead and kill it, and you roll a 1, you somehow biffed it. And it can be a lot of fun. But... Uh, Going back to the chart, if you look, it picks up right where the other one leaves off. So it's 16 plus, actually skips 17, I guess. So 16 and 17 are on the original chart, which we see right here. And then we go to 18 and so on. I actually keep this handy. I keep a copy of this with my Dungeon Master notes. For when I run very high-level games. I have used this many, many times. Sometimes you bring out that high-level monster and you, you just need this. And an interesting point on this, too. At the bottom, it has a note here. Negative numbers indicate additional damage inflicted to automatic hit. So if my 26 hit dice monster, for whatever reason, is looking to hit something armor class 6, he needs a negative 5 to hit it. If he rolls anything but a 1, he hits. He adds another... Five points of damage on top of what he's already done. So that's kind of a, a neat little twist. Uh, and I like that, that that's in there. And this is a little known thing because obviously this module was published in 1986, I want to say. And never received a lot of notoriety for this matrix being in the back here. But lest you think I'm running a ridiculous game and, oh, I need that and I'm running a two level, two high level campaign... You take a look at Unga here, who is their King Kong knockoff. He's 24 hit dice, and other giant apes are 18. That's why this is in here. We have all kinds of creatures on this Isle of the Ape that can hit you and hurt you at and make it easier, and they go off the chart of the Dungeon Master screen. So that's why the supplemental attach, attack matrix is in this particular module. I've always loved this module. It's a nasty module. If you get an opportunity to uh, grab it, please you know, do yourself a favor. Do. It's available on DriveThruRPG for, I think it's $5. Um, this module is fun because it's got a tropical setting. So when you're dealing with the tropical setting, you are having your clothing rot, your arrows are warping, things like that. And then once we get into Unga's Lair, we get into another planar area, and we end up fighting all kinds of creatures that are lurking out and about in other planes, but are attached to this demi-plane. And the Isle of the Ape is reached in this one by ship, but I, I have heard rumors over the years that this was actually part of Gagax's 
Castle Greyhawk. I've always used it as such. There were a lot of dimensional portals in Castle Greyhawk, and they led to different places like the land beyond the magic mirror, Mars, the planet, and then, of course, the Isle of the Ape, um, and many, many others. But anyway, back to this. I find the supplemental attack matrix very useful. I, I do use it when I run a high-level game. I'm, I have no plans on running a high-level game anytime real soon, but I keep this handy just in case. And I, I do recommend that you go ahead and expand it a little bit for the uh, for your game. I used to keep a copy of this clipped to my DM screen, but I stopped doing that because I didn't want the paper clip to damage the screen. This old friend has seen enough battering to... Uh, I don't want to add any more to it. <clears throat> and unfortunately, this guy is largely retired because the edges are fraying. If you look at the spine right there... and. It's just getting beat up. It's it's seen a lot of love. I use this for many, many years. But my players know when this particular DM screen is sitting in front of my spot when we're going to play, they know that I've whipped up something special. If I bring this old friend out, then they know that they're in for something a little different that night. But anyway, I just want to recommend the World of Greyhawk, Isle of the Ape, the Dungeon Master screen supplement that's in the back of the module. The module's outstanding anyway, and as I said, I... I took a look at it a few years ago on the channel, but I recommend getting it for that one page of nothing else for the supplemental attack matrix for monsters. But that's all I've got today on page 121. I want to thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Please leave comments below. Like and subscribe. Take a look at the Patreon. Help me out there. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.